In this video, we are going to see how we can configure view item event for WooCommerce store using Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4. This video is part of a playlist that has been added on the YouTube channel in which we are going to see how we can configure Google Analytics 4 and understand some of the reportings that are related to the e-commerce sections. You might have to watch the first video of this playlist where we have actually configured the Google Tag Manager container on our WooCommerce store and then we added the plugin and then we configured the configuration tag for the Google Analytics 4 that is going to track the page view event and all the basic configurations. So in this second video, we are going to see how the view item event works. So this video has been divided into three different sections. In the first section of the video, we are going to see what exactly is view item event and how it is important when it comes to making marketing decisions for your business. We are going to see some of the reports that can be built custom or that can already be viewed directly inside Google Analytics 4. Once that is out of the way, we are going to move to the second step of the video, which is the configuration of view item event in Google Tag Manager and looking at all of the different issues that might happen in the third section of the video. So what is view item event? Whenever a user goes to any of the pages of your website and they click on any of the product or they directly land on any of your product pages on your WooCommerce store. This view item event is supposed to trigger an event in Google Analytics, which is going to tell your Google Analytics what kind of event the user is watching. And it is going to provide them some details such as name of the item, ID, currency, price of the item, etc. All of these things are really necessary because when we will look into the reports, this will give you much more useful data that you can use. One of these reports is this one. This report has been built on Google Looker Studio and if I will scroll down on the page, you can see that I have two different reports added to this one where I can see source, medium and then the view item count. I can see that which traffic acquisition is bringing the view item events and out of these, how many are being bought right now. So I can see that on the first acquisition, the purchase rate is 26% and all the users that are coming from GadgetRiver.com, they have a 38% conversion rate. If I will scroll down to the next chart, you can see that there is some more additional information related to the item names. So I have added, this is pretty much the same repair as this one. However, this shows us which items are being viewed and out of these viewed item, how many of them are being purchased right now. This gives us some more information about the product and how they are being behaved on the website. This, a similar report to this one can be built on Google Analytics. Uh, this report is directly coming in from the Google's Merchant Store. Here we can see how many items are viewed in total and out of these items, how many are being purchased right now. And we can see that although this item is not being viewed a lot, however, this is being purchased way too many times compared to the, all the other items. So maybe they can focus on this one a little more. So this can help you make these kind of decisions. But the next question is how you are going to configure this event in your Google Tag Manager container. To do that, we have to go back to the Google Tag Manager container. So if you will open your Google Tag Manager container and go to the tag section, the first thing we need to do is open the preview window so we can actually see what kind of events triggers when we go to the item page. So let's click on preview. You can see that we have already added the configuration tag in the first video. So let's click on the preview button and it will open a temporary debug window that is connected, that will be connected with our website. So once we hit connect, this temporary session will start. Let me open both of these side by side so I can see the debug window events and the main website on left and right sections. Let me go to the shop section so I can actually click on one of the products and let me visit any of the product pages. So when I visit this product page, I can see that this view item event is triggering and this has all of the data layer which contains the item ID, name, SQ number, price and all the other details. If you want to see how we have added this data layer, you can watch the first video in this playlist. Now we have this item event triggering and now we need to make sure that this event can be transferred back to the Google Analytics. So let me open this debug window right here so I can create the tags and trigger that are needed in this window. The first thing that we need is to create the trigger and the tags. So let's hit new and let's create a trigger first. Since we don't want this trigger to fire on all the pages of the website, I'm going to create a new trigger. And the name of the trigger is going to be this data layer event. Data layer is basically an object that is really responsible for keeping a track of all the behaviors that are happening on the website. Data layer is very specific to Google Tag Manager. So therefore everyone on the internet knows that they don't have to mess with the data layer. So let's just copy the name and create a new trigger. Let's select a custom events and paste the name right here. Let's rename it to custom event and view underscore item and hit save. 
Now we have created a, the trigger which will only trigger on the view item event. Now we also need to create a tag that will send this data off back to the Google Analytics 4 account. So let's create a Google Analytics 4 events tag. You remember we created a measurement ID. Uh, if you haven't created this variable, you can also copy and paste this value directly. To copy the value, you can go back to your Google Analytics account and go to the admin section. Here on the admin section, we are going to click on data streams. Data streams are the pipeline that actually connects the container with our website. So on this container, you will see a measurement ID right here. So we are going to copy this measurement ID from the data stream. You can paste the measurement ID right here, but since I have already created a constant variable in the first video of the playlist, I am not going to create that again. Uh, this event is going to be called view underscore item because we want it to be called view underscore item. And then we need to send some information with this event. There are two options to configure this. You can either go to more items and click on send e-commerce data and this will populate all the events from the data layer. This is the first option. However, if you want to have more control on the events parameter and maybe you want to modify them, you can use this add parameter details and you can add all the things such as items, currency and value. So you are currency and value parameter. Now we need to make sure that we can get these data layer variable from this data layer call that has been made. To get the items array, we can see that the item array is inside this e-commerce object. So we can create a data layer variable which will go directly in that variable. So we can go inside e-commerce dot items. Let's rename this to DLV e-commerce dot item and hit save on this one. Now we need to do the same thing for currency. And since we also have the currency variable, we are going to do the same thing by creating a data layer variable and renaming it to e-commerce dot currency and rename the whole variable as DLV e-commerce dot currency. We can do the same thing for the value too. And what is this going to do is send the value of what this is going to do is send the value back to the Google Analytics 4 account. So let's create e-commerce dot value and rename the tag to DLV e-commerce dot value and hit save. Perfect. Now we have added all the three things. You don't need both of them. You can just select this one or this one. For this video, let's just do with the variables since we have already created. Let's rename the tag to GA4 EEC view item event and let's hit save. Now we need to make sure that we can do a test to verify if everything is working all right. So let's just hit preview again. This is going to reopen the debug window that we have originally created. And this will going, this is going to connect back to the website again. So let's just go to the shop page and go to any other product page. And once we are on this product page, we can see that the view item event is firing. And we can also see that our Google tag, Google Analytics 4 trigger has also worked. We also have this container loaded and we can see that the view item event has fired. And on this view item event, we can see that it has sent the details of one item and it has also sent the value and there might be currency somewhere right here. Great. Now we can verify the same information on Google Analytics 4 account. So if you go to the debug window right here under the admin section, under data display and debug view, you can see that all the events that are firing on the website, they will start showing up here one by one. And if we hit refresh on the page again, this will trigger another view item event that should also be registered on Google Analytics. Great, we can see the view item event working just fine. It has the value parameter, which has 59.9. It also has a currency parameter and it also has the item array. You don't be worried about this pricing because it is in micro currency. And anyhow, you can, ver you can verify the same information under the real time reports too. So if you go into the report section, you will see that we have a dedicated section for the real-time view right here. So if you will click on view real-time reports, it will redirect you back to the real-time report section. And here you can see everything under the event section. Here we can see that the event view item event is working just fine. Now we need to make sure that our Google Tag Manager container has been actually submitted. So the, all the changes that we have made, they are not in the draft mode. So let's just do this GA4 view item and let's just hit submit. Once we submit everything, all the changes that we have made, they will go live. That's how you can actually configure Google Tag Manager containers view item event so that you can track GA4's e-commerce event. And maybe by the end of the, this series, we are going to build the dashboard like this one. And if you want to download the template, you can click on the link in, under the description and it will take you to the blog post where you can find all the details that you need. Until then, have a good day. Goodbye.